Hey guys, so today is December 31st. It is approximately um, 8 past 5 in the evening. I wanted to start shooting this video um, like a couple of days ago so that I could have had it uploaded today, but didn't go as planned. But anyway, I don't know how many of you are um, familiar with the whole recap thing, you know, like a lot of companies do like Spotify and YouTube and Apple Music, Instagram now has a, has a, a little filter for it. Um, but I decided I wanted to do one for the channel. And so I'm gonna take a drive and while we're on the road, I'll just talk you guys through some of my favorite highlights for the year and throw up some clips of that as we go along. So let's see. So I initially wanted to do this this morning to catch the last sunrise of the year 2022 but slept through that so instead I'm going to try and catch the last sunset of the year um, so while I'm on my way to do that I'm going to show you guys the first clip um, which I consider to be one of my highlights which is me putting in my engine by myself so that would have been the last car I had before this one, the blue patch, so yeah. That's right guys, the engine is in the car, you know, I, I tried to record, well I did record some videos of me trying to move this engine by myself and at least get it placed underneath the car, I'll throw some clips of that in here for you guys to see it, but I had one of my friends come over and actually help me like, get it bolted in. Still missing a boat right there, I need to get that sorted out and the back mount is bolted up as well, back there. Um, along with that, I replaced the distributor cap because this did break um, when we were putting the engine in, it got, it got caught underneath um, this bracket and right here was broken. So got a new cap. At the same time, I realized that this is a distributor from an H22. As you can see, it was cut to, you know, to get it to work. Um, but all that's really left here is, as you can see, to install the exhaust, get the radiator placed in, all the hoses connected, um, a bit of wiring on the engine harness which I think I'm gonna try and get started today um, and I think that might be it excluding a battery all right so that clip um, basically as you saw I jacked the car up and tried to slide the engine in from the side I had a it took me a little bit of time to figure out just how to get that done I mean, I've seen a few clips on YouTube of, of other people using that method to do it. But you know, it's one thing to watch somebody who has experience doing it, and another to um, try and get it done yourself when you're not sure just how high the jack can go. You're not sure how high it's safe enough to take the um, take the car, and then you're still dealing with like millimeters of clearance after all that. So yeah, it was fun figuring that out. And then the next step after that was wiring the car up and getting it started, which again is another highlight for me this year. Because again, that was my first time doing something like that and it actually worked. What is going on YouTube? It has been quite a while since I've last uploaded a video and Quite a lot has changed. The engine is finally in the car. Um, got started on the wiring and we are, I'd say 80% of the way there. You know, this is the old EF harness here and this is the OBD2 harness from the engine. So, you know, you kind of got to splice that in to the original chassis harness here. Um, battery is in, 
external coil is all plugged up i'll find somewhere to bolt this up soon enough um the vtec wiring will be sorted out soon um but you know we're almost just about ready to go actually um, went up for sale and it was an opportunity that I really couldn't pass up got the car on a really good deal um, but of course I couldn't keep two cars so as you know I had to let the, the, the blue car go and ended up keeping this one which is the grey car and that is my third highlight for 2022 
What's up guys, today is another day and I am about to try and swap a CR dash into my hatch. Ooh, took me a while but it's out, it's out, it's out, it's out. Um, they did some pretty cool stuff here. Um, like they ran this silicone bead all the way across the back of the dash. I guess that kind of cushioned it helped to stop some of the squeaking. Um, doesn't look too bad under here. But I did notice though. So, I mean, this was messed up. But what they did on the back of the dash, which also made it pretty heavy, was to kind of repair it with fiberglass. I guess it has started to crack or maybe they did that to reinforce it. But yeah, they did that all along the, the back of the dash here. Um, but yeah, everything came out in one piece. Nothing is broken. And uh, yeah. And there we go. Um, almost complete. And I say almost because of oh, a few things. Um, so one, I need to actually get the CRX steering cover so that that can work. But the top piece doesn't fit with the dash cover on it like that. Um, this isn't like secured properly. Just stuck that in for the time being. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Under here, I need to get this. I, I, I reused the old one that I had in the car previously. Um, but I need to get that fuse box cover right there. And, um, of course, I need to change my steering wheel. And this, this is an EK armrest um, that is not bolted in properly right now. Um, I did get a bracket for it, but I haven't mounted it properly as yet. So, um, yeah, I just need to get this lined up and sorted out. Um, I shaved a little off of here. And I didn't really need to. I probably took off too much. So maybe I'll get a second one of this. And then on this side, I need to try and find a way to get this to bolt in. Maybe because this is here, it's affecting it, but the, the screw on the opposite side, like this one, it's not in. But, uh, feels a lot better already than the previous one, to be honest with you. I mean, I could be telling that myself that just because I like it, but I actually prefer this. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, the next highlight is actually a throwback um, to Drag Rivals. Um, and I said throwback because the, all of that took place before I swapped my dash. So there was Drag Rivals, which happened um, at the end of summer, um, which was the first officially sanctioned meet to be held since COVID, uh, which was really fun for me to attend, you know, the first, it was my first time going to Burnham Field in Clarendon for, uh, uh, for anything actually. Um, and then I had the pleasure of actually participating as a driver just this month, well, in December of 2022 rather. Um, so yeah, that was, that was a really cool experience for me and definitely one of my major highlights from this year.
sign that says welcome to Vernon, but here we are. My own? Yeah, I'll use my turn. Can you trace the room first? I can get 16 for sure. Well, it's just a series of unfortunate events, you know. Um, first time out, 17.3, 17.1, 17 17.3, I think. Um, Mr. Wheel spin at the start, Mr. Um, second run, 23, 1 2 1, Mr. again, just let out of it. And then third run, 18 seconds, Mr. again. Uh, I'm definitely feeling like, well, definitely when I'm driving, I'm having some issues getting into third gear, so I think I'm just going to call it a day, um, try to fix that and come back another time but yeah first experience it was good i don't think i'm um, um, my reaction time is too bad um staging all right it's just to get the car functioning as it job of getting video footage on Saturday um, but I think you guys get a gist of the story you know, I made it out to the track made three passes and just couldn't get the car to perform the way I was hoping um, driver mod probably was needed was at the same time you know I wasn't really feeling confident in car itself and I really didn't want to risk damaging anything after talking to quite a bit of people about it you know people are being supportive and offering advice and things and it could be a mixture of things maybe the third gear sinkers are damaged it could just be because it's a stock box and I'm trying to get it to do more than it's made to do um, or to perform under conditions it's not meant to perform under because once I'm under 5,000 RPM, then third gear goes in fine. But the minute I go over that, I just can't get to go. You know, some people say, well, you know, force it in, but I just don't want to risk that. Or I didn't want to risk it at the time, and I've been so far from home, and I couldn't bother with the stress. So, yeah, the plan though is to still pull it apart and look into it because the engine does need to be overall smoking heavily um, maybe the clutch cable might need some adjustment as well and then after another day I just do some testing on my own but yeah once once that's all done then we'll definitely be going back at it again all right so the last highlight I can't 
not show you guys until we actually get to where I'm headed because these are changes I made to the car between yesterday and today and more than everything else for this year this is definitely my biggest highlights of the year um, some cosmetic changes and I guess performance to a certain aspect um, but yeah I'll, I'll, I'll wait till I get to the I'll get out to Palisades and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about This, ladies and gentlemen, is my highlight, my biggest highlight for 2023. Moving r and R's and a carbon fiber spot. So yeah, um, it's really windy out here. So I'm just gonna try and make this quick because I have actually accomplished my goal. I made it to catch the sunset. Uh, this looks like it's about golden hour now. So I just really want to say thank you to everybody who um, subscribed this year. Um, followed along if you left a like, if you left a comment. I really appreciate all the support that you guys have shown me throughout this year. Um, honestly, it's, it's meant a, a great deal to me. And you know, done more for done a lot more for me than, than you guys know so once again thank you guys so much and all I can say is happy new year for 2023 and I'm wishing everyone a really really great year peace